Hi, this is David Abanktur. Welcome to the first video in the series of videos devoted to the 2012 Financial Risk Manager exam. As usual, we follow the sequence published by GARP for the FRM. That means as a part one candidate, you're responsible for topics one through four. Naturally, we're starting with topic one, which is called foundations. And then we call this 1A because we have two other foundation videos after it. So in the topic one foundations, we'll have video 1A and then video 1B and then video 1C. So that means this deck refers to the first of three in the foundations topic. Now this will publish on March 9, but it can be streamed or downloaded at any time subsequent to that date. And then also please do notice on the page where if you're viewing this stream, we do publish the PowerPoint slides actually in a PDF format that you can download as well. So these uh, slides themselves, we hope can also be sort of flashcards to quickly flip through some of the concepts. And we do ask that you be a paid member of Bionic Turtle. Otherwise, you're really viewing an illegal copy and making it h harder for us to provide our service. In terms of the agenda with this video 1A, We'll look at the first two chapters. Again, we're following that sequence of the study guide. You should want to, you want to make sure regardless of your study approach that you have a copy of the study guide with the aims, the aims of the, are the learning outcomes, applied instructional uh, material that GARP wants you to, it's the roadmap for what GARP wants you to know. We have two chapters to look at here in this video. The first is chapter one from Jorian's book, called Need for Risk Management. That's not the handbook. The handbook is a very useful introduction. I like it. It's not formally assigned in the FRM though. It's a supplement. This is Value at Risk, third edition by Jorian, the textbook. And then next, chapter three from Rene Stoles on his book. This chapter is called Creating Value from Risk Management. If you have extra time, feel free to read chapter two for several years until this year. Chapter two is also assigned and actually chapter three builds somewhat on chapter two. So you wouldn't be wasting time to look at Stoll's chapter two. And in this case, we have learning spreadsheets for those who subscribe to learning spreadsheets. And to associate with this video 1A, we have two spreadsheets. So you'll notice again, per the organization, the spreadsheets are called 1A1 and 1A2. So the 1A means these spreadsheets show up or correspond with video 1A that we're currently viewing. And then I do like to color code them because of course not everyone has time to look through all the spreadsheets. And in this case, I the intro to VAR, I consider of high significance. It's two, it's a worksheet, uh, I'm sorry, a workbook with only two worksheets where I've tried to lay out very simply two perspectives on the value at risk that are just very basic and relevant to the FRM perspective. Value at risk is the key risk measure that is thematic in the FRM. And then I have a workbook that constitutes the set of Stoll's examples that we'll see shortly here in the slide. And so that's if you want to get look under the hood and get a concrete understanding of some of the concepts were, which Stoll's raises. Each of these examples where risk management can add value, he illustrates with a numerical example. So sometimes that is the best way to understand the concept, especially with Stoll's where that text is frankly hard to read sometimes, not the highest uh, legibility of textbooks that we have. We know this over the years because that chapter three, along with the other Stoll's chapters, have always caused some confusion. But we'll start with chapter one, need for risk management. Defining risk. Risk is the volatility of unexpected outcomes. So sometimes we say risk is about the art and science of translating uncertainty into something that we can measure. Jorian describes major sources of risks. There's nothing magic about his typology, okay? And nothing particularly testable about this. Just starting to 